Hey guys, we're here at the 2011 GNC NPC Excalibur Championships. I'm here with Kenny Jack. Just took fifth place in the light heavyweight class. How do you feel today? Pretty good. Uh, first contest, so very, very tough competition. You know, I mean, some of those guys are six inches shorter than me, way the same. So, uh, especially first contest, I know it was a. Uh, uh, it's one of the more competitive shows, being up in LA, it's bigger than like the San Diego and stuff, so um, quite daunting, but at the same time, you know, I thought it was a good challenge and it's definitely uh, a good show to, to uh, be your first show, I think. Now you guys might notice this uh, thick accent he has, where are you from? I'm from Scotland. I actually met Kenny quite a few years ago when he came into our gym and uh, just always works out hard, he's always in great shape. Very hard, intense trainer. I love the fact of it. He's, he's probably younger than I have been training. I've been training for 26 years. How, many, how old are you right now? I, I'm 31. I've been training like heavy bodybuilding style for about eight years now. So minimum cardio, as you know. I like to just get in there like yourself and then go crazy with the weights. How different was it for you? Because you've been you're always looking great, but how different was it to actually push the limits of the diet, get into the cardio? How different was that from you? Was it difficulty or was it, did you expect it or was it something you weren't expecting? Uh, I didn't expect to be uh, as fatigued and run down, especially like the second half of the diet. I mean, we did, I think diet was probably about 10 weeks because as you, as you say, I, I typically eat pretty clean, certainly during the week anyway. Um, but, uh, so it started off not too difficult, added the cardio, which I obviously never do, so but that was minimum at the start as well. The second half, the past five, six weeks, it's been ramped up. So, double cardio sessions, you know, training like three times a day. Uh, calories way tighter, drop carbs, therefore a lot of fatigue. So, it was actually, I've got so much more respect now for uh, some of you guys, like yourself, Pete, Petey, that basically this is your life and this is what you do day in, day out. You compete all the time, and it just really opened my eyes to the competing thing. It's not just all about training and lifting as much as you can and going to failure over and over again. This aspect is like a whole other aspect, which now I have like a, you know, first-hand experience insight and it's hard, you know, especially when you try to hold, you know, 40, 45 hours a week uh, job, glycogen levels are super low, brain's not functioning properly, makes it pretty difficult. So uh, it was tough, um, but obviously towards the contest, it gets tougher and tougher, so. But you enjoyed it. Oh, it was awesome. Uh, you saw how happy I was. I used to always joke about him. Every time I see him doing cardio, I'd give him a smile and laugh because now he felt what I was doing all the time. So it's kind of fun to see the, the young guys doing it. Uh, you also had other challenges. Your girlfriend actually did the show too. And you guys have been together for a little over a year, I think, maybe? or uh, Just over a year. Um, we live together now. Uh, but she basically moved in as we started our dying. So we've not really had a chance to really like hang out and have some drinks at the weekend or go out to eat. Um, but uh, it's been good at the same time and the fact that both of us are eating clean. And here she is here. Say, so, okay, I was talking to him about how difficult it was, or not difficult, to dieting together. How did you feel about it? You know, cardio, dieting, in the same household, how did it feel to you? Um, as much as it can be difficult at times, I think it's actually more motivating and with the diet and cardio and if it's like sometimes, oh, I don't really feel like doing my second session. Oh, but he's doing it. Okay, let's do it. Come on, you know. So it's definitely like helps each other. No, I totally agree. I'd rather be dieting with someone than not because the extra food in the house and all that. So what are you going to do now? What are you both going to do now for the new year? I'm going to eat and drink. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean we're still like healthy and work out and train, but you know we're gonna take some time off from competition diet and um, just enjoy like the winter. Well, I know you have some people you want to thank. Who do you want to thank for the shows? I know a certain pro helps. <laughs> a certain pro might have helped you, and you know you have good training partners. I saw that. So anybody you want to thank? Absolutely. Um, first of all, uh, my wonderful girl for Elki for putting up with the moodiness and the fatigue and all the crap that comes with dieting. Um, second of all, massive, massive thanks to PD. Uh, he really, he over, you know, he looked at oversight my diet. I, I, I did a, the first part of my diet was pretty much myself. He looked over it, check mark, check mark, yeah, yeah, yeah. The past three, four weeks when it gets closer to the contest, he really took over and really started um, opening my eyes to all the little tricks and secrets of, you know, the contest prep, which you, can, you can't really read about. You gotta to speak to guys like yourself, PD, and you're all there and always accessible. So yourself and Pete, 
from 619 as well. All you guys have been awesome. And then obviously my training partners, uh, usually it's me coming in and shouting at them, telling them to lift more, lift more, lift more. And uh, they've seen my sorry ass sitting sulking and they put up with it. And uh, they've been here to support me today and support Elke as well. So to all those people, thanks very much. It was a pleasure watching you. Um, good luck in the future, Elke, you too. I'll enjoy watching you guys in the gym when you're a little fatter and happier, you know? So uh, from Muscle Contest, I'm Derek Fonsworth.